Hey, you guys, welcome back. Today I am here with another haul video. Yes, another haul video. I wasn't expecting to do one this soon, but um, yeah, I came across some goodies and I wanted to share with you guys. And I did not do a video on this look. I was experimenting with applying glitter and all that kind of stuff a different way. And I actually like the way it turned out, but um, I didn't do the video because I didn't know how it was going to, you know, play out. So, um, yeah, but if you want to see this in a video, just let me know and I will do it. But it's like coral and pink type of look going on. And um, I actually did this look pretty much while I was going to school, but minus the glitter. But that's what I was wearing because I wanted something that was pretty, but pretty much just go with anything. And, yeah, because I don't have that much time in the morning because I, I actually drop my son off at school and then I go to school. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into the goodies. Enough of that talk. Um, I'm going to show you two different um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Limited Edition sets that I found. One of them I picked up, one set, I should say, that I picked up at Target and the other came from CVS. Um, the first one that I'm going to start off with is the Target ones, and I haven't used any of these Maybelline color tattoos yet. I had them for a couple days now and haven't had a chance to play with them. But this one is a teal blue shade, and this one doesn't lean to green like a lot of teals do. And it is a bit darker than the Tenacious Teal. Um, this one's called Test My Teal. I'm going to try to show you guys these caps so you could, just in case the volume goes out, you guys can see at least the name. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, the next one is a gorgeous true blue. And this one is called Blue My Blue On By. And it is a gorgeous blue. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this. There we go. And the next one I'm going to show you is one that I just cannot wait to use. And I think it is so gorgeous. And this one's called Fuchsia Fever. It is a pretty pink, but it has like a lot of purple to it. And I just cannot wait to see what this looks like on. And here is the name of that one. And the next one I'm going to show you is called Ready, Set, Green. And it is a true green. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the name. Hopefully you guys are getting good views of all this stuff. Um, the next set I'm going to show you are the ones that I picked up at CVS. And one of them in particular was actually pretty hard to find. Um, I had to get my mom to get it from a different location. So um, this one is a gorgeous mossy green shade. Hopefully that's showing up true to color. And it has like gold in it, like gold accent in it. It is gorgeous though. And I actually picked up two of these because it's hard to find a pretty like olive, like mossy green shade. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the caps so you guys can see the names on them. And I'm going to close it up and move on to the next one. The next one is called Barely Beige, and it is a true beige shade. I think they got that right on the mark when they named it that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the... There we go. Okay, so the next one is also a gorgeous one, and it is called Gold Shimmer, and it is a pretty gold. And it kind of like, um, kind of like leans more to like the brown kind of color. Maybe I want to say more like a bronze. It's like a bronzy gold. But it is gorgeous as well. And I'm pretty sure there's like swatches and stuff probably probably all over YouTube with this. So that's why I'm not even going to go ahead and bother by doing swatches. Hopefully you guys can get a good visual of these as I am showing them. And that one's called Gold Shimmer. 
The next one is called Rich Mahogany, and it is a pretty brown. It's a gorgeous brown. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on and then show you the name. Rich Mahogany. Okay, so another thing that I picked up from Target is, or uh, was, this crease brush. And I can't get this one out for some reason. I think I have one that's already out. But it looks like this. It is a round crease brush. It's rounded at the top. And the reason why I mentioned that, because I picked up some from Target before in the past, their crease brush. And, and it is this one, as you can see. And it's more of like a pointed shape. Hopefully that's picking up on camera. As you can see, you probably can see the difference in them. But um, these actually work really well. This one's much stiffer or dense than this newer one. This one's more, like, flexible. So I do like the older version better, but I just wish that it had, like, this shape to it. But overall, they're still good brushes. And you can pick these up at Target where they have, like, the eyelashes and, um, you know, tweezers and all that kind of stuff. So that's where I picked those up at. And I actually picked up two of those, so I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side. And I'm going to talk about the stuff that I picked up at the beauty supply store. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff um, from there. I picked up lashes and all that kind of stuff, and I'll show you that after I show you the lipstick and eyeshadows. The first lipstick that I picked up was called Coral Pink, and I actually tried to well, use this lipstick when I did this look, when I was wearing it this week at school. And it was kind of like, I don't know, kind of tricky to me because it showed, showed up on me more of a baby pink type of color. And I was kind of surprised by that. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. But overall, it's a gorgeous lipstick, though. And it was only a dollar, so I do like these Nika K lipsticks, though. I use them quite often. You guys probably hear me talk about them all the time in the videos. But this one is called Calypso Coral, and it is a pretty, um, I want to say it's more of like a copper. That's what it looks like to me. I'm not sure how it's picking up to you guys. But it is also a gorgeous color as well. And um, I tried that one out yesterday. I paired it with like a burgundy colored um um, lip liner and it was really pretty because it brought out like this metallic-y type of color but it was gorgeous um, the next one is called copper gold and it is a gorgeous this one's actually a pretty much like a orange kind of it is I would say copper is a good description of it and the reason why I'm saying orange because I have one called vintage orange from Nika K and I've used it in my glow video and probably another video I'm not quite sure but um that's the lipstick that I used in the glow video and they look the same to me so that's the reason why I was saying orange but um yeah it's a gorgeous color as well okay so I'm going to show you the eyeshadows I picked up from Nika K it's the high definition shadows and these were like $1.99 that's pretty much what I paid for all of them. Um, this one is what I have on now with this glitter. And it's a pretty coral shade. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it's a gorgeous color. And this one is number 3040. I'm going to try to show it to you up close and see if it comes out better. That's what that one looks like. The next one is kind of like a minty green. I would say maybe more of aqua, because it kind of reminds me of my birthstone, aquamarine. But it is a gorgeous color as well. It's a pretty soft, light blue. And it is number 3035. And the next one I'm going to show you is a pretty brown. And I also have that this one on with this look. I have it on in the crease. And I think it will be a good match or a good shadow to apply with the, um, with the, let me see where it is, the Rich Mahogany. I think these will go nicely together if you want to do a neutral look. Um, the next one is also one that I have on as a highlight. And it is a kind of like an off-white champagne 
color. Hopefully you guys can see that one as well. And it is number 3017. And the next one I also have on in the crease. And it looks like this and it's a pretty tan. Just your basic tan color. And it is number 3008. The next one is a pretty minty green, more of like a pastel green. I think I'll say that. Like a pastel green. It's a pretty color as well. And it is number 3010. Okay, so um, lashes, I forgot. I was about to move on to something else. I haven't showed you the lashes yet. But I also picked these up at the same beauty supply store. Um, I really do like these lashes. I use them often in my videos and even outside of doing videos. And they're like, they're called La Charm. If I'm not saying that correctly, correctly, please somebody let me know. But um, yeah, I picked up some other ones. I usually use the number 13 all the time. And this time I picked up number 43. And they're pretty much like some flirty full lashes. The number 13s are spiky, as you can see. I also picked up, um, that's the same one, but I also picked up number 48. And I kind of like the number uh, 43s that I showed you, but the separation is a little bit thicker and wider on them. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this one's more full. This one's more spiked compared to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I picked up like 10 pairs of lashes or whatever. I'm not going to show all of them. There's no need to. But now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Coastal Scent stuff. Um, Coastal Scents had a sale maybe about a week and a half ago now. And they had like 40% off of their natural mm -hmm. products and stuff. And I um, actually picked up a few things. I picked up some grapeseed oil. And I forgot to grab that before I started doing this video. But um, I picked up grapeseed oil, and I picked up some glycerin, some vegetable gliss uh, vegetable oil glycerin or something like that. I'm not quite sure what the um, label says. I can't remember off the top of my head. But these are the items that I really want to talk to you about that I'm about to show you. Um, even though I forgot to grab the other ones, but that's okay. Um, I purchased some African wild honey, and it's 100%. And it's really like a dark, dark brown, like a rich brown when you open it. This is the second bottle that I didn't open. Um, but yeah, I use this for making masks. And I really didn't change up my whole skincare regimen. And I did have some issues this summer, like some really serious issues. And that's because I was trying out some different things other than what I showed you guys in my skincare video. And yeah, that was like a big mistake. So now my skin's pretty much under control and it's pretty much due to using honey mask. And um, honey is good for combating um, bacteria and stuff on your skin. So when I am done wearing my makeup and I want to wash my face, I use the African black soap. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys which one I use again and talk to you guys about another one. I'm going to do that in a second. But I wash my face with African black soap and that gets off all the makeup. I wash it two times and I apply the sulfur soap that I showed you guys in the skincare video. And if I want to do something extra, I apply honey on my skin and let it sit for a while and it makes your skin really soft and moisturized and I like the fact that it is helping me fight the bacteria in the skin because um, my skin is really oily and that's the reason why I get all these breakouts and it also um, the benzoyl peroxide was causing me problems that was also making like the breakouts really bad so I had to stop using that but um, yeah my skincare regimen is pretty much the same I just use um, honey and stuff on my skin now and now I'm going to go ahead and talk about something that I just had to say and talk about and this is neem oil and the reason why it's in the bag is because it is absolutely horrible to smell but I'm going to go ahead and take it out the bag so you guys can see what I'm talking about 
Um, this one's called neem oil. And this is also good at fighting bacteria. And I have bought this to use on my face as well. I was going to mix it up in the mask that I make. But, uh, gosh, like, how do I put this? Um, this stuff smells is pretty much like the worst smelling thing that I have ever smelled before in my life. That's just the nicest way to put it. I was hoping it was going to work for me, but as you can see, it looks pretty gross and the smell is worse than what it looks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh about that because I'm a person that I don't consider myself to be somebody that has a weak stomach, but this right here is just out of control. Um, I've read once I got it to see what other people have said about it and people said that it smells like garlic mixed with onions mixed with red peppers, green peppers and whatever else that stinks and they're pretty yeah. much right on the mark with that. Um, I was hoping it was going to work but I just couldn't get past the smell. I'm going to try to mix it up with some like essential oils or something. Maybe I can mask the smell in some kind of way. But um, yeah, I just, gosh, oh, why did I do that? But I just cannot do it. Oh, gosh, that is so gross. I shouldn't have done that. But I'll do it for you guys. And that way that way you guys can um, get my true opinion on it. But um, maybe it might work for somebody else. Maybe you guys can tolerate the smell i just can't do it so i'm just going to go ahead and zip this up and go ahead and put it down on the floor and next i'm going to go ahead and show you the african black soaps um this one is one that i have showed you before and it's called tom or tam i'm not quite sure how you pronounce that but this one is my favorite one and i decided to go ahead and try another one called nuna and the reason why I decided to pick this one up when Coastal Scents had the sale is because um, it was 40% off and I wanted to give it a try. And I think both of these bars were like $2.37 a piece. And I think they usually run about $3.95. So I wanted to give this a try because it also has neem oil in it and it also has um, honey in it as well. So I wanted to use it for my face. And that was like the wrong thing to do. My skin does not like this soap, this Nuna soap. Um, I picked up the unscented one and hope that might um, make a difference as well as far as, like, you know, eliminating fragrance and stuff in it. But, um, yeah, I woke up the next day and my skin had, like, all these little bumps on it. And I was just like, gosh, it has to be this soap because I know that's the only thing that I have done differently. Because I know some people have allergic reactions to honey, and I don't have that. So I knew it could not be this honey, and I knew this, this soap had to be the culprit. And lucky for me, I was able to clear my skin up by applying honey and pretty much just bathing my skin for a day or so, and it made it clear up. But um, I cannot use this on my face. Maybe it might work for some of you guys. I'm not saying anything bad about it. Even the neem oil, it might work for you guys. So if you want, give it a try. You know, um, it might work for you. But I'm not knocking these products. It's just that it just didn't work well for me. Um, I do use this Nuna soap, like, in the shower for, like, the rest of my body. I don't have any problems with breakouts or anything like that. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's still a good soap. It serves its purpose as far as, like, what I wanted to, to do. But it just didn't work for my skin, and that's what I had bought it for, you know. That's what I bought it for. But um, I went ahead and ordered some more of the Tama soaps. I actually did two orders with Coastal Scents. I got some Tama or Tama soaps, and then I went back and reordered some more. And, um, yeah, this one is really good. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't strip your skin like the big block one that they sell that runs about $12 or something like that. Um, I do have that one. That's the first one that I started off with. When I first started ordering stuff from Coastal Scents, I wanted to try out black soap, African black soap. And um, that one's a little bit drying, and it also will give you like a tingly type feeling. It might be a little bit too strong for a lot of people's skin, and that's what I have found. Um, and my mom had the same issue with it, giving her like tingly feelings or whatever on her skin. It was too strong, but she can use this one. And this is the one that I like to use to 
um, wash my makeup off. It works really well as far as taking your makeup off. The next item that I'm going to show you is some cocoa butter. And this I picked up from Coastal Scents as well. It actually smells pretty good. And you can smell it through the bag and they have it pretty much sealed up really well. But um, I wanted to try this on my skin. I heard some good things about it. And everybody knows, you know, cocoa butter is really good for your skin. And as far as I know, it's about a pound worth of it, I believe. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try that out. And if I don't forget, I will mention it in another video. Maybe I have some good luck with this. Um, but, yeah, I like to use cocoa butter on my skin, though. It gets rid of blemishes um, quicker than, you know, it healing on its own or whatever. But, um, yeah, you guys, I think that's pretty much all that I got. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is like my third time trying to record this video because I had like a lot of interruptions but I did get a couple more things from Coastal Scents and I forgot to grab them before I started doing this video but I bought some um grapeseed oil and I also purchased some um glycerin and that's what I use in my hair to keep the keep it moisturized or whatever but yeah I forgot to grab those but I just kind of wanted to focus on like skincare type of thing and yeah maybe i'll get around to doing that next time i'm um, talking about those other items i missed but um i'm going to go ahead and end this one and if you would like to see this look just let me know um i'll see you guys soon with another video take care and god bless